Here at Machado Botano, we are a full service design firm with all disciplines in-house, including surveying, engineering, architectural. We started with the uh, drone-based surveying with, uh, back in 2016 with photogrammetry-based drones. Six months ago, we started with the LiDAR-based uh, micro-drones. One of the sites we'll be flying is an abandoned golf course between two subdivisions that will become developed into a new subdivision. We'll have to deal with the weather, wind and rain coming, and the Class D airspace of local airports once we balance all that out and get our approvals. We'll be able to get in on the project, knock it out in one flight. The big difference between the LiDAR technology and conventional is the time and the manpower. I mean, we've gone from using, you know, conventional survey crew and equipment, which may take two or three personnel, down to uh, really one person going out with the drone and flying acres and acres of property or many linear feet of roadway that we're doing improvements on. It's just totally changed the approach that we've used in competing on surveying and also it's changed the time frame significantly, reducing the turnaround times that we can give to our clients to provide them the, the critical data that they're looking for and also the critical data that our design teams are looking for, so it significantly uh, moved everything in our schedule to the left, which has been big plus in our office. The main thing with the Micro Jones products is the time spent on these jobs, which, I mean, time and budget seems to be the most important thing in this industry, so that's helped tremendously. One of the main challenges with this project itself is the close proximity to an Air Force base, so having to get that approval, which we were able to get, could have been an issue, which thankfully it wasn't. And then weather right now has been a bit of an issue. Thankfully, we got a weather window and uh, we're gonna be able to take advantage of that today. So at first, when we have a flight come across that we're wanting to get done, and it's typically a bigger flight that, you know, time is an issue. I meet with Greg and we kind of, he comes up with a KML of the area that we're going to be flying and provides it to me. And then I import that into MD cockpit and I'm able to use that to kind of input my flight parameters. And um, it really assists in building the flight and giving the most efficient flight paths. And then from there we wait go over it together and make sure everything looks good, all of our parameters look good. And then as soon as we get our weather window, we're able to get out there and get it flown. All right, so we got this new project rally. It's gonna be this old golf course area. You can see in here on the uh, tax map, you can see the boundaries that we're looking at. It'll run from uh, Pass Road all the way up to the uh, bayou back here. So let me go ahead and add a perimeter around it just so I can see me catch this corner right here? Yes. Okay, bring that in. Yeah, that all looks good. Bring it into the tablet. MD Cockpit is extremely easy to use. At first I was a little worried, but after designing two or three flights in it, I mean, it's been, been very easy. The project at the golf course is gonna be a residential development. It's in a really hot area with lots of economic growth. And I think the golf course has been decommissioned for quite some time. So um, it's a, some prime real estate that we're getting able to turn into a real nice development. And 60% uh, lateral everywhere at 70 meters altitude. That looks good. Since you, you've got the mission ready to go, we'll, uh, I'll go ahead and contact the uh, tower and uh, let them know we are ready to, to fly. The MD LiDAR 1000 LR gives us the capabilities to penetrate tree canopy and wooded areas and collect more data for our uh, ground topo, provide a better design surface for the uh, design engineers. It benefits us in ways that we can uh, expedite the product and provide the data in a much quicker manner to our clients. And at the end of the day, that's the name of the game. Once we get our weather window, we'll head out and make the flight, come back and process the data. The data will then go to my guys for creating surfaces and finalizing the drawings. Yeah.